Welcome to our first Feedback Friday video. Now, I started this a few years ago with online classes and especially during COVID, I found it helpful and I'm just continuing to do it. If you were in my face-to-face -face class and we got to the end of our first week, someone might raise their hand and say, hey, I have a question about this thing on Blackboard. And I would pause and say, did anyone else have the same question? And almost always five or six other students say, yeah, I was thinking that, but I just wasn't sure. And I was going to ask someone later. Now the student who was brave benefited a lot of other students. And I realized in my online class, if you email me, not everyone can hear the answer, but I bet you a few other people are thinking it. So that's the premise of these Feedback Friday videos. And this one is going to be a little long because it's the first week, but typically they won't be the, this long. The other thing I want to do is to help online students feel like you are part of San Jacinto College. So I want this to be a full experience. And that's my word for the semester, an experience. I want this to feel like an experience. So I'm gonna take you to some different locations. Today, we are in my office and in just a minute, we're gonna walk down the hall to one of my favorite places that students often don't know about, but is a great benefit to you. But let's start with the questions. So many questions about the textbook, the Launchpad access code, and what you can view on Blackboard. So let me be very clear. I think it's most beneficial if you, if you are limited on funds, just purchase the Launchpad code that will give you access to the ebook and everything that you need for the semester's assignments. Um, there are some textbooks, if it's labeled Open Books Plus, it should come with a Launchpad access code. Um, I work really closely with our textbook rep. If you get in a spot or you really need help and you are having trouble with that access code, please contact me. I've had a few students email me and we're getting most of the kinks worked out. But it, if you have to pick, some students will say, what should I do? I would encourage you get the ebook. You're taking a class online, so I bet you can handle the ebook. The most important part are those digital resources for the learning curves and to record your speeches. Now let's talk Blackboard real quick. Um, I'm redesigning Blackboard a little bit because they have changed the software for how we were uploading our lecture videos. So you don't need to worry about the software and you don't need to know what kind we did or didn't have. You just need to know, you may see a black box. I'm going through and trying to clean that up and working with Blackboard designers to help me do that effectively. So each week you should see just that week's module. I may start to open one ahead, but I wanna pace yourself through the semester and also know that I want each week's module to be clean and easy for you to follow so that you'll have a quick sort of uh, Monday motivation video. You'll have, here's the lecture videos. We're walking through the text and then here are your activities and assignments. This week's attendance assignment is the let's get started quiz that says I'm here, I'm present. And every week you will have one attendance assignment and it's usually the easiest assignment of the week. So uh, another question that came in is, can I meet with you outside of your office hours? I am Zooming with a student today. So please don't hesitate to, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, and we will work really hard to figure out how we can do that. As far as um, assignments, we are mostly gonna use discussion board. Those learning curves, somebody said, I can't see learning curve part one, I'm trying to jump in. Well, that's actually in module two. So one of the questions that came in was how, why can I see this? Um, module two will be available later today um, and we'll just kind of roll them out one at a time, uh, partially because I don't always love for students to work ahead. This week you should be meeting your teams. You'll know who those are um, on Monday. So make sure that you're not trying to work ahead. You Sometimes you'll leave your teams behind. So those are most of the questions that came in. If you made it to the end of this video, congratulations. And now I want to show you around really quick. This is my office. I'm in building eight. Uh, my office is 1422, so I'm on the first floor. Um, if you come to my office, I'm working on getting a new shelf, but I have food, I have snacks, I have granola bars, um, and usually bottled water. So if you are on South Campus, please stop by, say hi. Uh, I'll know when the next San Jack softball game is. You can see pictures of my family. Um, sometimes we'll brainstorm on the whiteboard. 
these are all the states I've lived in, Illinois, California, Texas. And now um, I wanna walk you really quickly. We'll see how this goes down the hall to one of my favorite places on South Street. Okay, so this is my office, building 1422. And also, if you want to graduate, I love it when students send me pictures because you start here and you go to the rest of the world. So let's go down to something called iConnect. Now, every campus has one of these and it's kind of like a student lounge. It has um, snacks available to you, free coffee, which I'm a fan of, but more importantly, it has tables for you to be able to work um, and it also has free printing. So if you're at home and you need to print an assignment or calendar or syllabus, you don't have ink in your printer, you can come to the iConnect Center and there are really friendly people here. Um, if you're on South Campus, you can meet Elsie, who is great. Um, but this is available to students. You can print up to six pages front and back for free. Meet your uh, people for group projects, hang out. Sometimes they have free snacks. So if whatever campus you're on, find and look for iConnect on South Campus. It is right down the hall from my office.